Hello Lola's. So I also wanted to talk about um, giving up on silicones. Um, so I haven't necessarily gave up on silicones, but I am like pulling away from them more and more. Um, it's just so complicated finding a silicone baby that actually, um, that I like. And I know it's, again, that picky phase. But when, at some point, there used to be a divider. There was the, the sculpts that cost quite a bit. And then there was the ones that were, you know, reasonably priced. Now all the kits are starting to be across the board, pretty pricey. Um, the blank silicone kits, um, you were able to find them at 1500 Now all the artists or sculptors that were, that baited you to get to like this, their sculpts or come see them, that was charging 1000 and 1500 Now they're at 2000 and they're right there with the most expensive sculpts. And twenty five hundred and three thousand for just a blank sculpt. That's a lot of money. So that leaves the painters not much room to charge less because um, a who gonna charge? Well, I ain't gonna say who because some people will. But you you you're gonna pay five thousand. 6000 easy and reason being because by the time you pay for the kit the supplies the hair and then the time the skill sets everything that goes into it yeah you're gonna pay about five to six thousand dollars for a completed baby now there are people in the market that can appreciate those prices when you've paid 15 17 20 thirty thousand dollars for one then five thousand six thousand sounds like nothing um that sounds really good after your brain has been conditioned to that this is it, the norm is anywhere from you know ten thousand and up <clears throat> so i'm not saying that it's not still reasonable or you know fair prices or that that's you know that it's, it's some people that appreciate it and is okay with that. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that when I, me, this is my personal opinion as a collector, when I'm looking for a silicone baby, if I love the face, but the body just looks like a Bergen doll or, you know, the little private parts look like Walmart, you know, $9.99 special, um, or look like, you know, Gabby drawed it or sculpted it. And I, I'm not talking down on people. I'm just talking in general just to give you guys an idea. Um, but some do really look like that. Um, first of all, I want to ask, how does this work? How do your sculpting skills be so advanced on the face and the hands and the feet, but you can't do the body or the other part? I guess sculpting the body is harder. Or some people are not really sculpting. Um, not accusing anyone. I'm just saying that sometimes people, when they piece babies together, maybe they didn't find the right body yet to copy it from. Especially if they copy it from a vinyl kit and it didn't have a body. Then they use the chest plate, but there's no private parts to copy. So anyway, but that's their business. I'm not going to get into that because I don't want to fight the whole community over that conversation. Um, but my thing is, I don't want to have to pay three grand for something that I kind of like, if that makes sense, or two grand for something that I kind of like. And I'm just talking on like kids. So I've kind of like not been finding ones that I really like and I've just been kind of like not really into them as much i've found that is so many other options with the reborns that and you know hey like i said if you don't like the limbs switch it out you know you don't like the head switch it out 
you know i've i've found ways to be happy with the other ones the other thing that i love um and that because like i said my head was so far up in the clouds and it was coming so easy to me um at the time when i was getting you know i was having the full body silicones all the time i lost you know touch of reality with how much enjoyment you can get out of the reborns versus the silicone babies like and you know like i said i really really enjoy my silicone babies and i do think you can fully enjoy them it's just in a different way um i feel like they're just as durable when they're done right um but yeah there are some extra precautions that you have to take with them like you can't leave them on sharp objects and you don't want to you know sit them on things that's going to leave an imprint you don't want to just pick them up any kind of way you know those type things um if you snatch an arm off of the silicone it's it's not the same if you pull the arm off the if I accidentally yank Zora up and her arm come off, guess what? I just get another zip tie and put it back on. That don't work for the silicone. You got a whole nother problem. Um plus the price range is so different. Some people that's not comfortable with the silicone and that's been scared to death about them are is afraid to, to really handle them. Um but th there's enjoyment in both, that's not what I'm saying. But I do find now that I've been interacting with my Reborns a lot, I do find that I have fun, more fun, like changing them more frequently and stuff like that. Because I don't know, I just, I just, I just do. Now there are some of my Reborns I don't want to dress as much because the finish on them makes me nervous and I feel like I might scratch them. So, um, certain ones I... I think I feel a little bit more comfortable with them as well. Um, just, you know, so it's just like that on that level, it's kind of the same, but I, it's not the same as far as they, like I said, the options, the options are endless with vinyl. And sadly, you know, it's a lot going on with the vinyl market right now too. You know, the manufacturers are taking long, they're changing up the vinyl color um the uh texture of the vinyl seems not to be exactly mm, all the same um different variances it, you know some is the same but you know um uh the paints uh right now there's there's an issue with getting the matte varnish and now the genesis paints might be going out you know it's just so many different things um i've heard from some people that's been around a long time that they've seen this happen before and everything works out i don't know um you know hopefully it does i think i got enough paint to last me probably another 30 40 kits so i think i'll be okay for the next year or two <laughs> but um yeah it's 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 it it comes with its things too um my issue with the reborns right now is that everything is being unlimited and i feel like the collector and me is being smothered if that makes sense like i i know other people i don't care i don't mind I don't, i'm still buying yeah i am too i'm still gonna buy it and complain at the same damn time so get over it but what i'm saying is i definitely enjoy limited edition sculpts I definitely did. I definitely enjoyed that. And it's going away. And I'm a little irritated by it, to be honest. It's 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 going to be very few, far in between. And then, what the hell is this? 2,500 limited to 2,500 or 2,000 or 3,200. Just go ahead and say it's unlimited, ma'am. Because, I mean, at this point, it, it's a lot, you know. But I can appreciate that they still limit it. Okay, there at least there's a cap, you know. You know, maybe after a couple years it won't be no more. But um but at the same time, in all due respect to the the sculptors, they do have to make their money too. And if that's the way they see fit to make more money, then so be it. Um But back to the silicone. 
Some of you guys hyped up some of these artists, told them how great their work is, even before it was all the way there. And now they've boosted their prices up. They've 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 hiked their prices up to the ceiling. And so now you, you told them that they were so great and as good as everybody else. And so now they're not gonna really improve much more. They're just up their prices because you told you you told yeah, you told them that. And so they didn't grow into their price. They just jumped there, just skipped over everybody and just went to the front of the line and say, hey, I made it. Ma'am. Ma'am. So it's very hard. Then there's the accessibility to silicone kits. You got some artists that only sell to particular people. Or you got some artists that only paints their own, their own, and that's fine. That's their choice. But I'm like, but I don't like your painting. So why can't we get it blank? Because it's my business and I do what the hell I want. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you know? Um, man, it is the worst feeling as a painter to contact a sculptor and be like, all right, will there be any blanks for this? And they'd be like, absolutely not. But I will offer them painting. You can buy one from me for 6500 or 7000 or 5000 or whatever. I don't want it on a train, on a plane. I just want it in a can. <laughs> no. And you know, it's you know, some people are happy, like great, I don't have to look for no painter, the price is fair, I'm happy. Well good for you, buddy. But I'm not. I wanna paint it myself. <laughs> um now that I paint myself, I'll be honest, there are some babies that I absolutely love, like I love their body styles and everything. And I'd be almost tempted to spend tons of money just because I really just want the sculpt. It's not even about the painting. I just want the sculpt. And, um, but I, I don't know that I'm willing to do that anymore. I may, down the road, buy another completed doll, but I don't know that I, right now, the way I think my mindset is that I don't really want to do that. I would prefer to paint my own. Even if I mess it up, it's my mess up. Um, but I've worked hard and I'm still working hard to improve and to get better. And so that's that. Now there are certain reborns, there are certain silicone babies or from certain artists that I don't care. Like, listen, I used to say, I won't pay this for a reborn. I won't pay that for a reborn. I won't do this. I won't do that. My perspective on all that has changed so much over the last year or so. It's so drastic. Um, I will pay two, three. If I had it, let me just put that out there. If I had it, I will pay a couple of thousands for a reborn at this point you know why because my value system has changed so where I didn't value them as much a year ago I have I value them a lot more now because I can I, can, I understand what you can get into a reborn that you don't typically get into a silicone baby. So now I understand why some people are okay with paying $4,000 for a reborn, but not wanting to buy a silicone. And I still, because I am still a silicone collector and I do love silicone, I definitely understand why people pay ten, fifteen thousand dollars for one. I'm not here to, to say 
your choices are wrong or anything. I'm just talking about my personal opinion. I have to give these disclosures throughout the video because y'all heifers will take it and turn it into a whole blood bash. Like, no, that's not, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying me personally just talking through my emotions. I didn't even think this video out. But I'm just saying that I'm really sick of looking for silicone. Then people are saying, well, I can't hardly find AA babies. And then there's all these people painting AA silicones now, giving AA classes, you know. And it's like people will go out and spend top dollar for a muddy looking. And when I say muddy, muddy, black, gray, purple looking silicone baby, just to say they have an AA baby. But then when they come to an AA artist, and when I say A, people will pay top dollar to a non-black artist. But when it comes to the black artist, a lot of the black collectors think you should take less because you're the same color. It don't work like that. You don't get a color code discount. Oh, somebody had to say it. Why are you devaluing me? Because we share the same color skin. That should have been a whole nother video. I'm going I'm to let this one go. Whew. I've been wanting to say that so long. But I knew I would get canceled for saying it. I just, I just had to say it. I just. And so when. And then. On top of that. If I get the slightest little thing done wrong or differently than you imagine it to be or pictured it to be, you'll trash me. But if a non-black artist mess the whole doll up, because in my opinion, if the baby is gray and look like it need to be getting CPR and resuscitated, the whole doll is a fail, you'll sit there and put that baby on a pedestal and Ooh and ah and 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 boost them up and brag about the artists and all this and stuff, but you don't like the way I took the nails, so skin tone, right? Hair popping, but she ain't took the nails quite right. Yeah, I, 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 and she kind of had a little bit of attitude. When you go to black people, they have attitude. Yeah, it's just harder to get from black artists because they have a, we have an attitude because y'all don't want to pay us. Hello. So, painting silicone customs, not in my future. It's just not. Then people want to be slick. I'm gonna send you the kit. No, you ain't. You ain't sending me nothing. I buy my own kit and I'm going to put my price on it when I finish it according to how I feel it, it looks and, and, and if it's worth. If it come out as a boo-boo, baby, I'm going to put a boo-boo price on it. If it come out to where I love it, I'm going to put I love it price on it. Like, put some respect on it. No, I'm just kidding. But I don't know how I got into that. But serious, that's a serious issue in the community. Not only just with silicones, but reborns and everything. I don't know why I ended up here, but I'm going to end this video now because before I say too much. And if you guys want to cancel me, that's fine. Because y'all been canceling me for the last eight years. And I'm kind of used to the cancel seat. So, that part. Oh, I forgot to mention that if your friends don't say that it's okay for you to buy from that person, you don't want to buy from Never mind. I'm, I'm done. Bye, y'all. Love y'all. All the colors. Red, black, purple, blue, green. Don't, don't. Don't be in your feelings now. But if you're in your feelings, it's because you felt some type of way because you know that's you. So, hey. Work on your ways. Bye now.